Hi there, Pisces, Pisces Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your March 2021 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Christy, from in the stars by Christy.com. Now, uh, I first want to apologize to you guys for having the March 2021 late uploads. Um, things have been really, really busy for me, and I also got sick, and I've been doing a lot of readings and ritual work, so <laughs> please do bear with me during this month. Um, I will try my best to make it up to you next month to post a lot earlier. So, um, yeah, anyways... Um, um, before we get into the reading, let me just also remind you that this is going to be a very general reading, so it may or may not stream into each and every Pisces people out there, so just keep that in mind. And the way that we are going to be doing the readings is really to take a look on what are the energies and influences that are um, happening, transpiring for us this month. So um, the way that I'm going to be saying things are really more about... Um, more on the emotional and energy situations and you will have to use your own intuition to relate this to your own specific situation so that you know it can be more personalized for you and if you feel that you don't resonate with the reading you can just take a look on your sun sign reading moon sign reading or ascendant sign so take whatever reading best resonates with you so um yeah um take in what resonates and leave the rest okay so let's go into the reading i feel that this is going to be quite of a month for a lot of pisces people out there we're starting off with neptune and this is very ideal for pisces because you know astrology wise we do have a lot of planetary alignments in the sign of pisces so having the neptune um astral astrology energy um surrounding for the month of uh, March is, you know, quite a bit expected. So, and having Neptune right there makes me feel that, you know, there could be a lot of experiences wherein you become more emotional, you become more sensitive, dreamy as well. And a lot of you guys might be into spirituality, doing a lot of, you know, meditative work, spiritual work, maybe having a lot of interest with the occult, maybe. And for some people, this could be just a situation wherein there could be some form of confusion, misunderstandings that might be surrounding in your everyday life. So um, some form of mysteries or nostalgia and um, melancholic situations, you know. Neptune is a very <laughs> difficult situation to deal with because it can mean a lot of things, but... There are always situations wherein it makes us feel either either conflicted or either we are so elated by the events that transpires for us. So, um, yeah. But basically, um, the theme for the month of March is very, very Piscean-like, I would say. So we're starting off with the Eight of Wands over here. And the Eight of Wands is a very impulsive energy, you know, some form of a sudden oomph surprise all those kinds of things and um with the eight of wands and the six of wands together it makes me feel that there could be something of a good news that comes into your life right now and it could be an offer of some kind for some of you maybe a person or a man you know it really depends someone enters the scene and you know and offers some form of situation gives you some form of good news all of those kinds of things or a choice needing to needing to to make might come up and you might be very very thrilled about that and there's going to be a lot of excitement in the air with that you know so something comes to the forefront and things that gives you a lot of excitement you know and you're willing to start things you're willing to take on opportunities. You feel that, you know, this could be a month wherein you are presented with a lot of, ch uh, not really challenges, but presented with a lot of um, opportunities, you know. A lot of options comes in for you and you feel that this is a time and month to grab hold of them. And so your idea this month is really more on to grab on those things because you want to start a new project you you're willing to for more activity right now pisces and 
I kind of feel that um, in the past, you're seeing here that y you have been really more on your happy-go-lucky side. And I kind of feel that this is really more of a time where in you were more relaxed. You were more um, settled down before, you know. There could be situations in your life where in you're not taking things, anything seriously. And now you are at the point of your life where in you feel you are ready to take on the challenge. You're ready to take on the world. You're ready to take and do something more serious um, at the very least. And um, it's easy for you to get tempted with certain things. And if nothing is happening in your life or in you know you're very sick and tired of having fun and games again and again um there's something that presents to you some form of offer comes that is quite tempting however i'm quite concerned with that because it makes me feel that maybe you don't know exactly what you're getting into you don't know exactly all of the details about the venture that you are about to take to take you know maybe there you are only seeing the good the good side of things again we do have neptune energy here surrounding us and a lot of pisces people can be you know can see things in real seat tinted glasses and you might see all of the positive things in your life and then suddenly you know things fall apart and you come to realize that okay something is totally wrong here you know and especially when the devil card is at the top of the deck you know this is actually a celtic cross spread that we are looking at i'm i just laid it out in this manner so that you can you guys will be able to see the cards but um, ideally this is going to be the one that is at the top of the deck so um, it means that you know you have the devil <laughs> in your head basically so um, at one point you feel that you want to just go ahead and trust your intuition but at the same time um, I kind of feel that it's hard for you to really for some for some Pisces you know especially especially Pisces that are not evolved and what I mean by that is that um, Pisces that are not that are that really don't practice any spiritual stuff, you know, not a spiritual practitioner, and they might be easily swayed. They might be easily tempted about things. They might be easy, they they easily give in <laughs> to their darker darker thoughts and and any form of temptations, you know especially when it comes to guys you know maybe there's a hot guy that suddenly tells you something you know and you are more inclined to believe it because maybe you like what you see you like what they say so um and remember we have here the tower card coming into your near future so it makes me feel that you know this is some this is really a point wherein you need to be more cautious about certain things especially when you're making a decision if someone offers a date with you a party with you you you're not supposed to jump the gun and go ahead and do them at the very least not right now um it's okay to have fun you know i'm not telling you to be a stranger i'm not telling you to be to be a doormat and to say no to everything however um, what I wanted to emphasize here is that we are at the point of tricky times, meaning there's a lot of Neptunian qualities. So it's like you're walking on clouds and I'm not saying that you should not be doing anything. What I'm saying is that you cannot trust everything, not even yourself, because especially if you're dealing with a very important things. In your life especially when it comes to career business venture the things that you purchase the things that you invest yourself in or even in when it comes to dating i mean there's a lot of neptunian qualities that can damage a, a, a relationship you know like for example um taking on meds that is not good for you <laughs> you know drugs and stuff like that um and uh, going with a party with someone that you don't really know and 
And with the Neptune quality here, you don't know where that might take you. Especially you have the devil and the Neptune here. You don't know what might be going on right there. There's something that is risky with the venture that you are about to go in with. So um, I would say that you really, really need to to be more careful with the decisions and conclusions that you make. And at the same time, you have to listen to your own intuition. For me, um, there is a difference with your intuition and what you're feeling. They're not the same thing, you know? Sometimes there is something that really bugs you in your core, in your, in your, in your, whether it's in your head or in your heart. Um, you know, it's something that keeps popping in your head. You should not ignore that because that is different from what you're feeling, you know? When someone is telling you that you're beautiful, of course, someone is going to be happy about it. But at the back of our head, we will be able to discern, supposedly, if they are telling the truth or if they are lying, you know? At the very least, your intuition right now is very strong. And even though you might, some, some Pisces people might find it hard to discern the truth from, from lies, um, there's going to be some form of hint that the universe is going to be sending to you and you need to you need to be alert to actually notice those hints that comes so that you can avoid any form of problems and pitfalls that might be presented to you this can also be a situation wherein you might be very open to certain things in your life right now you're so happy with certain things and you're welcoming just about everything and that is what Pisces is all about you know they're like a sponge and even though Pisces people are like a sponge normally it means that this month you are more of a sponge you know you absorb things a lot more and you affect the lives of a lot of people a lot more as well so but at the same time they might just disappoint you so you need i fi- i kind of feel that you need to be careful on who you're giving your trust to um they might disappoint you especially if you don't know the fine print you don't know exactly the details so again um if you are negotiating with someone talking with someone you know if there's some form of meeting there's some form of talk you are having with someone it's very important that you check in with the details you know check in the exact details you know and it's okay to repeat what they're saying you know repeat the things that on how you have understood things just to be clear you know and sometimes text messages emails can be misleading because it's different from talking so i kind of feel that you need to for you to avoid disappointments you need to really be sure about certain things and don't don't risk those ri- don't risk winging things out so because there could be some form of confusion that might be surrounding you during this time and for some pisces you know this can make you feel lost make you you know if you got if you get disappointed by this person or this situation you might be feeling lost you know that something could could overwhelm you one way or another because you're you're feeling so so many things right now you are very open so i would say that it's also important to to find time to to relax to meditate and don't just you know if you haven't spent time with yourself maybe take a time to spend time with yourself as well don't just you know don't just get busy with other people even though i know that there's a lot of activities for you this month and you are willing to start things up and all of that um i kind of feel that this is also a month wherein some form of breakthrough can happen yes you are seeing some form of new beginning but uh, i kind of feel that for a lot of pisces that this is not really some form of beginning but this is really more of a renewal or a change or transformation of something so i'm not really seeing you taking on a new venture but it's really about you trying to reconstruct something trying to change something you know so maybe you have already decided upon something or 
there is already something in your head in your mind that you wanted to to work on and this is really more about changing the situation or maybe ending something that kind of situation um, all I can say here is that you are you tend to think too much, you know. Anything that you're doing that is too much right now, Pisces, is something that um should be reflected on. So, so I would say that you um this is going to be a month for, and you need to be more alert with your decisions, the way you think, the way you feel things, what you tell to yourself, what you tell to other people should be um should be um should give yourself more some form of awareness one way or another because um and some people some of you guys might be so frustrated with how slow things are are panning out you might be very irritated about certain things you might be feeling trapped because there is something that is not working in your life right now and i kind of feel that you know whatever it is that is conflicting to you pisces this is something that you need to fix this is not just about you completely ending something you know like okay uh this situation did not work out i'm gonna break it off this situation did not work out i'm gonna end it it's not really that point this is about the situation we're in something is not working out i need to fix it you know but of course um entering a new situation that is unrepairable is another story so what i would say is that do not engage yourself in situations that you know you cannot back off on later on so so it's either you are fixing something um reconstructing something this is about you learning something very significant in your life this is about you um overcoming <laughs> that confusion and feeling lost into the situation there's some form of lesson that you need to learn this month pisces um whether this is about you be being overly trusting with people or you being not too trustful with people there is some form of lessons that you will need to experience you need to to overcome so that um some form of maturity can come to you during this time and there is also a situation here wherein you are going to be learning how to really plan effectively you know and this is also going to be a month for in it is going to be very important for you to be able to discern um people that are true to you from people that are that just wants to entice you <laughs> you know those kinds of things so what is it that you truly want pisces do you want something that makes you feel good in the moment or do you want something that is actually real that can be with you for the long run so i kind of feel that for a lot of pisces there's going to be a difference you know there's going to be a choice that you need to make a choice that that leads you to the path in life that you want to be in because a lot of pisces people i see over here is more of they only think about the short-term situation of their life a short-term results i'm going to engage on this because it makes me happy right now it makes me feel good right now even though that in the long run i know i'm not going to be happy about it so this is going to be a month where in you make a decision because you know that for the long run this is going to be the end result and you're not going to be choosing the the short-term happiness which gives you some form of depression later on um, there's going to be a lot of reflecting as well that's going to be happening for a lot of Pisces people especially if you're not happy if if you are at a point wherein you are desiring things that is not within your grasp that is not within your reach this is going to be a time wherein you are going to be working on on how you can make it happen but not in a way wherein things are unhealthy wherein things are are like not like how it was in the past you know i kind of feel that if there were patterns and repeated things that are happening in the past you don't want to repeat them anymore so 
you are wanting to reconstruct things you do things again in a new way in a better way in a way that it will work you know it will be more efficient it will be more real to you and for you so um yeah you might be <laughs> there could be some form of frustration i would say you know some form of excitement and frustration you feel that you are it's like that that's that sense wherein you see a green light you know you see a green light in the traffic signal but for some reason you're not moving forward or you're not exactly moving forward in the way that you're wishing things to be so this is really more of a situation wherein there is some form of change that you need to do there is something that you need to work on and you cannot just ignore them anymore you cannot just keep postponing things you cannot escape it and uh, it's either you you work on this for you to actually move forward or be disappointed and be unfulfilled and you know it's like wasting your life i feel wasting your time because you're trying to escape something that you know is going to haunt you over and over again so i kind of feel that this is going to be a time we're in you need to have that awareness that i need to work on this you know there's something that i have to do i need to follow through with this to get it over with for me to actually move to the next step for me to actually move forward with my life so there are just things in your life right now pisces that you cannot ignore anymore um, it could be some form of haunting from the past. It could be from some form of situations that you're trying to avoid, you're trying to run away from. And this is going to be the month we're in. It may be difficult, it may not be easy, and you may not like the idea, but you need to face them. You need to give that a conclusion and put an ending into that misery and that situation in the past that needs to have a period on. <laughs> So, um, yeah, this is my reading for you guys, Pisces. I do hope that this gives you insight and clarity one way or another to the situation that you might be dealing with during this time. And again, my best advice for you guys is to not be impulsive. Don't get too excited with certain things and always try to make sure of the details and try to double check things out and don't jump the gun if you're not sure and listen to your intuition thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me and if you do want a more personal reading specifically done for you in your own situation you can always do that through my website in the stars by and i shall see you guys again next month goodbye